My name is Jason Comas, Senior Air Quality Coordinator with Environmental Services, and we're here to share some good news about a collaborative effort between Parks Department and Environmental Services towards converting Parks fleet of fossil fuel powered equipment to uh, electric alternatives. This ongoing project aligns strategically with environmental health principles and goals outlined in city plan, as well as climate action, specifically around ozone attainment and carbon emissions. And our 2019 budget consists of a $20,000 grant received from the Regional Air Quality Council that was contingent upon a budgeting for outcomes a match of $20,000, so for a total of $40,000. So for some perspective on ozone, local ground-level ozone concentrations and contributors are oil and gas production, on-road vehicles, as well as non-road equipment such as lawn and garden equipment. And while oil and gas production and on-road vehicles are already the subject of state regulations, we have some opportunities here locally to manage local ground-level ozone concentrations. One of those is through transportation planning, such as um, increasing access to public transit as well as our community efforts, such as our lawn and garden rebate program that's ongoing until uh, July 31st, encouraging residents to switch from gas-powered equipment to electric-powered equipment, as well as leading by example through our municipal efforts in replacing our gas-powered equipment. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Mike Brunkhart. Thanks, Jason. Uh, again, I'm Mike Brunkhart, and I'm a supervisor with the Parks Department. Uh, so the Parks Department's always in search of uh, new technology to convert our gasoline-powered uh, equipment inventory. Some examples on the screen that you'll see um, that we've converted from gas powered to electric are chainsaws, weed whips, push mowers. Uh, but two that I want to focus on is um, that green mower on the upper left hand part of the screen. So that's the mean green mower. That is the first commercial grade, all electric, uh, 60 inch mow deck mower that is available on the, in the industry. And I think council would be happy to hear that the city of Fort Collins is the first municipality in the state of Colorado to purchase one of these. And in fact, we've purchased two of them over the last two years and we've gotten really good results from that. Uh, the other piece of equipment on the lower left hand side is the Husqvarna robo mower so that is a fully autonomous all electric mower that we tested out this past fall and we plan to purchase four of them to use in our uh, cemetery this year um, we've heard a lot of positive feedback from the public and our employees when it comes to converting uh, these pieces of equipment um, so from a public perspective uh, it's quieter it's more enjoyable um, time in our in our public areas from our employees standpoint um, it's a healthier environment to work in uh, it's quieter uh, there's no no longer um, they no longer have to breathe what they're burning like they do with gasoline. Also, they don't have to transport any of the gasoline, which is safer for them. Um, we're also using energy really efficiently. So if you think about um, with electric equipment, you're only using energy when you pull the trigger on that piece of equipment. So there's no more idling between area to area or parts of the tree canopy to the other part of the canopy. So all the while, we're reducing our carbon footprint, uh, which is one of the main goals of this program. Uh, next steps, the remainder of 2019, we plan to finalize the additional equipment by June 30th of this year, which would bring us to approximately 50% conversion of handheld equipment. In 2020, we plan to purchase more electric equipment with $20,000 provided by the BFO process uh, while developing a long-term plan for 100% replacement. And we continue to evaluate emissions and equipment through long-term trials. So in closing, I just wanted to say how proud I am of this, of this program, uh, the, the connection that we have with Environmental Services Department and the Parks Department, um, our employees for their willingness to try out new equipment and give feedback so that we can give uh, good, um, or we can make good purchases in the future.